Hey there, it's Jenny, and I am here today to share with you a traveler's notebook layout that I am creating using the Coco Daisy Meadow collection. This paper that I'm trimming down to use as the background for one of them is a paper that was in the classified memory keeping kit, but it's also in the planner kit as well. And it's got those umbrellas down the side that I thought would be really, really fun, like a cool accent, like all on its own. I did contemplate for a hot second, like fussy cutting the umbrellas out of the paper, but I decided to just use the whole sheet. Now the other side will just be a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to mount my photo on this light blue polka dot paper. It sort of mimics the idea of the rain like with the polka dots and the blue and I thought that was pretty cool. Now I, it's a little tiny hair too wide so I decided that I was going to unattach the photo from the background and trim it down just a quarter of an inch so that it fits leaving a little bit of a border around the outside. I love that plaid, by the way, that's on the back of the polka dot, so it really did hurt me to use the polka dot because I wanted to hoard the plaid paper, but you know, not hoarding, I'm using. All right, so these are rub-ons, and we've talked about rub-ons before, and they're amazing. I love them, and I'm using this big rain cloud, and the rain drops, and I'm going to have it start above the photo and then cascade down onto the photo with the raindrops. I'm just using the popsicle stick that comes in the package to adhere it. Now, a tiny piece of the cloud did stick to the paper, which is actually fairly unusual. It doesn't happen very much to me, but it's really not a big deal because I'm going to have a bunch of other embellishments anyway, so I'll just cover it up. Now there's a few cute phrase stickers like that rain, rain, go away. I've got another one pulled out too. Now look, see the umbrella? It's perfect right there. You have the same element carried over from the left-hand side of the page, and then it covers up that little bit where it was stuck to the paper. Now I'm also going to layer those two shapes, the circle and then the little arrow right down there also in keeping sort of with the blue theme, like not 100%, like I'm not married to the blue theme, but the blue for the right hand side of the paper, I'm liking that as I put down like a pale orange sticker over my forehead, you know. This is a photo that was taken back in 2016. I likely scrapped it at the time too because it was really funny. Um, but my son and I were talking about this, the photo and the incident the other day, and I thought with my new way of scrapbooking, which is adding a lot more journaling, it would really be fun to do this as a memory, like, you know, six years later, basically. And so that's why I pulled this out. I've really been thinking a lot about journaling lately, and I've really been thinking a lot about scrapbooking memories lately which I know probably seems kind of strange, but it's really not meant to be. It's really just things that I remember later on that is it, right? So I am pulling out all of these die cuts. Now there's a lot of animals in here by Lanou's Potts and her art is absolutely adorable. It's just not something that really necessarily fits my style. So I'm kind of pushing those to the side and looking for other little bits and pieces like the cloud, which is super cute. And I'm going to put the little phrase on top of it. I'm digging through my stash, trying to find my foam squares, which I cannot find. I don't know what happened to them. But let me tell you a spoiler alert. The next day I have found the foam squares in my trash. I accidentally threw them away when I was cleaning up my previous project. So that's where they were but I didn't use them because obviously they were in the garbage. So I'm just gonna use my regular old adhesive to adhere this down and it's fine, it's absolutely fine, it's not a big deal. Would I have liked the dimension? Of course I would have, but it's not a big deal. Now I'm just going to, you can see I already used the puffy stickers a tiny bit to add a couple of raindrops. Now I'm gonna use the glitter raindrops, like enamel dots, but in the shape of raindrops, to add some to both sides of the page. I absolutely love the varying textures of the raindrops. So you have some of the puffy stickers, you have some of the glitter dots, and then you have some from the rub-ons too. And I think that just makes it really, really fun with that wide variety. So now the page is very close to nearing finish. Like it's not 100% or anything like that. We still got a couple more things to add, but it's getting there. It's getting a little bit closer. So you can see that we've got the photo on one side and then I've left this big 
little section on the left side for the journaling. Now this is that other little phrase and I'm going to adhere it to the top and just ever so slightly hanging off the edge because I wanted it to sit flush. And then I printed my journaling on clear sticker paper and I'm going to adhere it over in that blank spot. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much and make it a great day.